Now this video is to help you not be fat for fall. We know what happens, summer hits, July hits, there's festivities every weekend, we're out at the cabin, we're out with friends, and next thing you know, August rolls around and we're like, wow, I'm really feeling it. And September rolls around and we're like, I really need it. What's up everybody? Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit, the home of the belly burn. Today I wanna to talk to you about working out has to be mandatory. You do a coffee, tea, or EAA fast. You need to plan a time to move. And when you're in the city, get your ass to the gym. And the rule of two out of three. Rule number one is that workouts have to be mandatory. A walk does not count. If you've been working out, then that means that you've been getting your heart rate up. That means that you've been challenging your muscles to the max. And a walk is just purely maintenance, okay? When you're at the cabin or wherever you are on vacation, you have to plan a workout. The easiest solution is to go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, go to video on demand. We got virtuals there that you can download that you don't need any equipment or if you're trying to maintain your muscles, all you need is some dumbbells. Rule number two is that you gotta do a coffee, tea, or EAA fast. So what does that mean? No food until 11. Breakfast is for suckers. Breakfast really means breaking the fast. So in traditional ways, we're used to eating breakfast first thing in the morning. Now, farmers eat breakfast first thing in the morning because farmers will eat and then they go to physical labor for the next four to six hours. While the rest of us, we eat breakfast first thing in the morning and then we go sit at a desk and then we sit and then we snack and we eat more and we eat more. And what ends up happening is that we're eating over a caloric allowance. So what I would tell you to do is start adding some restrictions. 11 to seven, 11 p.m till 7 a.m. is the best fasting time. If you're eating past seven and you're going to bed around nine, 10, or 11, then what's happening is that food's not properly digesting and it's going to affect your sleep. So give that time for your body to break down the food, utilize it, and then you can get into a fast when you're in the first thing in the morning. And remember, fasting, once the calories are gone, your body's going to start use fat as fuel. So in that time frame, EAAs at night won't spike your blood sugars, it won't have any effect on your ability to sleep. There's zero calories, coffee, tea, first thing in the morning, that's it. Rule number four is that when you're in the city, get your ass to the gym, okay? Even if you're gone from Friday till Tuesday, Tuesday you're back to work, you work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you rinse and repeat, you go to the cabin. Then those Tuesday, Thursday, and Wednesdays, you need to be in the gym. Now you might not be able to work out at your regular workout time, that doesn't matter because working out is important to you. We wanna maintain our physique, we wanna age well, we wanna feel good, especially when we're going to the cabin and we're moving less. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you need to work more, and you might have to get out of your comfort zone for just a month or two months, whatever summer is to you, and you need to focus on working out at a different time. If you start work at seven, it doesn't matter. Get to the gym for five. I'm gonna tell you that you're gonna feel way better about how you feel, how your body's gonna metabolize things, and in the end, you're gonna see major changes if you make major changes in your summer. So when you're in the city, you gotta adjust your schedule and you have to make time to go to the gym. And the rule of two out of three, if you're working out but your nutrition sucks, then you still need to take your supplements. I find that people only go for one out of three off the belly burn challenges. In the summer, they kind of go zero for three. They're working out twice a week, not taking any supplements, and they're eating bad. And so what happens over summer is that most people gain eight to 12 pounds. Now you don't have to be that if you follow the rule of two out of three. So if during the summer, you only have three days a week to work out, you work your ass off for those three days, like just like you're playing catch up for work. You gotta answer a thousand emails, well now you gotta go do a thousand reps at the gym. And if you're out at the cabin, then you should still be taking your supplements because a lot of these supplements are gonna help decrease your appetite, they're gonna help boost your metabolism, and they're also gonna help you to build muscle. And so what we need to do is focus on two of the three. You got your workouts, you got your supplements, and you got your nutrition. So there we have it, guys. This is how I'm gonna help you not be fat for fall. Your workouts need to be mandatory. You do your coffee, tea, EAA fast. When you're in the city, get to the gym, and most importantly, the rule two out of three. Workouts, supplements, and nutrition. So I'm Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. If you fell off or you need to jump right back on, go to our website, mention the belly burn, and we'll get you started as soon as the next one comes up.